Hey guys, this is your boy Kaizo, and I got a special treat for you guys right here. This right here is the DF250 RTG. I have finally gotten this bike. Now, I got a little small story to tell you about this dent here. And this little scrub up there. And this, I have dropped this bike, like laid it down. Uh, I do have a new gas tank coming to replace that as the camera's spazzing out. Um, wow, what a gorgeous bike. So, one day, on second day of owning this bike, learning the bike, getting the hang of the bike, learning how to ride the bike, well, I judged wrong. There is a stop sign across this street right here, way over that way, past these houses. If you go at the little, where that car is, right there, across the street, right around there, is where I wrecked. Across the street, someone did not stop at the stop sign, and um, I judged wrong. I saw someone coming. I thought they were going to stop. Nope, they didn't. They pulled out in front of me. Thank God the swerve saved my ass. But when I swerved, I knew I was going to hit the curb and drop the bike. Yeah, I did. I dropped the bike. And when that happened, it seriously fucked up the headlight speedometer. I had to go get some new uh, turn signals. It messed up the back turn signal. And this turn signal right here had a light blown, and it didn't match the size of the rear turn signal, so I decided to change both. I got four turn signals, I have two spares. Uh, I had a fast flash issue, and that was easy to fix. I got some load resistors underneath the seat. And also, I'm going to tell you something else, guys. If you ever get this bike, um, you want to replace the seat. The seat that it comes with, it, it is very uncomfortable, and it looks horrible with this bike. It just does not fit the looks of the bike, to my opinion. Um, this seat is just, wow, it's like a pillow, man. It's super comfortable. <laughs> I've literally rode this all day, and um, fuel economy. Now, I'm going to tell you, fuel economy. I have put, now this isn't accurate. I've actually put a little over 200 kilometers deliberately. I wanted to push the is come on camera. I wanted to push a little over 200 kilometers. Um, you're not supposed to go over 30 miles per hour um, until you've hit around 180 to 200 something kilometers, as it says in the manual. So I've done that, and I'm about to do an oil change very very soon after this video. Fuel economy. I've put literally 200 kilometers on this single tank, and I'm still almost full. Now, you gotta bear with me. I've been driving about 20, 20 miles per hour or below around this street, breaking in this bike, waiting to uh, get my tag because the tag office has been closed because COVID. Now that that's been fixed and tag office is open, I get to go tomorrow and get my tag. Yay! Which means I get to be on the road tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, I can't bring you on the adventures just yet because I'm waiting for... Um, my uh, GoPro and mount so that's gonna be a minute I'm still saving up on that so I don't because I, I have a budget here so I'll try to be careful I'm a careful person but uh, this bike is a fucking awesome beginners bike now I'm gonna tell you the truth power to be honest with you it's a little of a struggle to get up to 40 to 50 but she will do it it will do it so that's all that matters, that you can do 40, 45 to 50, 55. I have done 55 on this bike. I have not reached 60 yet. I uh, done 55 not too long ago down that strip before I, uh, which I shouldn't have, before I decided to do an oil change. And now I can go over 30 miles an hour. But it, it can do it. And I'm gonna turn the bike on so that way I can give you guys what it sounds like. And I know you guys wanna hear the bike. Gonna turn this bike on for you. This bike sounds fucking awesome. I love the way this sounds. It's a lovely bike. Oh yeah, man. Here I am. The first person on YouTube right now posting a video about the DF250 RTG. And my opinion about this bike, it's a fucking awesome bike. I ain't gonna lie. And the looks of it, man, 
It's a beautiful bike. I love the red. It sounds amazing. And it is a hell of a lot of fun. Even though it doesn't have that power. I mean, you got to give it some slack. I mean, it's a 229cc bike. Exact cc size. But, beginner? Is it a great bike? Well, I mean, if you don't have the money to spend on a $4,000 bike, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. This is a hell of a great bike. I got this from Venom Motorsports. These guys are awesome. They helped me out a lot to, to get the damage fixed and help me out and all that shit. I'm um, still waiting on the gas tank and the front forks for them. The reason I'm getting new front forks is because they're weak. They got a little damaged from the wreck, but they're still usable, which I wouldn't do ever. If I was you, if you ever got wrecked, just go ahead and change forks to be safe. But I know you guys are probably, dude, it's, it's, it's just a dent, man. But to me, I, I just, it drives me crazy. I'm just going to get a new tank, and I'm not spending some $200 to get that professionally removed. Instead of almost two to three hundred fucking dollars, I'm just gonna spend like seventy bucks on a gas tank, which is cheap, and I can wait a month. So that's the DF250 RTG for you guys. Perfect beginner bike, lovely bike, didn't cost much. This is my first motorcycle, and I finally fucking did it. I kept my words, guys. Very soon I'll bring you guys on some adventures, and I cannot wait. You just got to bear with me. I'm really sorry for not posting much, but um, I'm going to get there, guys. Just bear with me. I'm going to be putting, bringing you guys on the adventures with me on the DF250 RTG. We're going to have some fun on this thing. I'll see you all later in the next video. Good luck, guys. And stay safe out there. Remember, wash those hands. Don't touch your face. <laughs> Keep your distance. All right, good luck, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.